Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In the previous section, we learned how to test our app. This is the start of section 11, which is titled, Deploying Our App. In this section, we will look at different ways of deploying our app. We will cover three different ways, Simple VPS, Elastic Beanstalk on Amazon Web Services, and Heroku. This video is titled, Preparing Dependencies for Deploying. In this video, we will take a look at managing dependencies. We will also upgrade dependencies and go through our app to make sure it doesn't use duplicate code. Let's talk about managing dependencies. While developing our app, we installed a lot of external libraries using pip. We used virtual envelope to keep Python packages in an isolated place for our app. However, using our own personal hardware, like a laptop, is the best idea. We're going to use a deployment platform from vendors like Heroku, Amazon, DigitalOcean for this. How do we ensure the production environment is the same as development environment? We could simply copy the virtual envelope folder. But it doesn't always work, so you shouldn't rely on this. For example, I can't take my OSX virtual envelope and use it on Linux. The best way is to simply list all the packages with versions in a text file, and then install the exact same versions using pip. We can use pip freeze to list all installed packages in our virtual envelope folder. Let's save the output to requirements.txt, which is a customary name for files with dependencies. Now, for testing purposes, I'm going to deactivate the virtual environment and remove the wfdb envelope directory and then recreate the environment. Now, when I run the tests in the fresh virtual envelope, you can see them fail since the packages aren't installed. If you install the dependencies by typing pip install minus rrequirements.txt and run the tests again, they will work. We have successfully recreated our previous virtual environment. What if I need to update versions? I've been working on mastering Flask for a while and haven't upgraded my virtual envelope. It can be a good idea to upgrade package versions every once in a while. So let's see what packages have new versions with this command. pip list hyphen hyphen outdated hyphen hyphen format equals columns. Okay, we can see that Flask, Flask WTF, Flask Login, Flask WTF, SQL Alchemy, Celery and IPython have newer versions as well as their dependencies. We also had this. Let's update them. Oops, I need to provide hyphen hyphen upgrade flag. Let's run our tests. They work, but we have a bunch of warnings here. Let's fix them. First, we have to replace all imports like flask.ext.login with flask login. This is simple, although a bit tedious, since we have to do it for every extension imported in every file.
it also seems that Flask cache isn't actively maintained. Let's replace Flask Cache with Flask Caching, which is a fork of Flask Cache. Next, we have to do a couple of renames for Flask WTF. As you can see, we have almost no warnings, except for disabled cache, which is intended, and importing flask.ext.sqlalchemy warning, which I checked, it arises from flask debug toolbar code. The flask debug toolbar code was updated in master branch on GitHub, but it looks like there is no fresh release that we can install with pip. We will need the requirements.txt file in the upcoming sections, so let's upgrade it. Great, we are all ready to start deploying our app. So far we have learned how to use pip to reactivate virtual environments and upgrade package. We've also upgraded our app dependencies and fixed warnings.